All right, so for those of you that have like a, I'm not sure what years it would go, but this is a 2010 Chevy uh, Malibu. I know it works on the Impala because I saw a video. Anyways, traditional, this has got rear disc brakes and traditional disc brakes that I've always done, you know, you put a clamp on there and it compressed that caliper, that piston back in. Um, and I started that process on the other side and it wasn't going in. So of course I looked on YouTube, guy had a video on there and uh, glad I watched it. I haven't tried this one yet, but um, anyway, so I'm sure there's some special tool that you can get from GM or whatever, but it goes in there. But you put a pair of pliers in there and then you spin the caliper like that. You turn it to the right, and uh, it will. It's how you compress the little piston and the caliper, push it back in, so you can put your pads on and get them back on. So, can you see that scout? Mm -hmm. So, again, I'm sure the little special tool. I'm sure they have probably cost you thirty bucks or something, which it'd be worth it if you're doing a bunch of breaks, but. Um, I'm just using needle nose. The guy in the other video I saw had regular pliers. It seems like once you get a couple spins, it spins easier and easier. But, uh, well, you just kind of hold her in there and give her a spin. And it keeps going. I actually kind of like this uh, style versus the um, one where you have to use the C clamp and stuff or whatever, you know, but. Seems to work pretty good. I don't think this is the system they have on the front brakes because I did the front brakes on this car a year ago, and I don't. And I know I didn't do this, or else I would have remembered. You can see it's going in there, and it kind of gets to a point. It'll, I think it'll just keep spinning and spinning eventually once it gets so far. Cause the other side I kept spinning, 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 and uh, and it didn't seem like it was going any further. So I figured, oh, that must be it. So, you know, I don't think there's a it bottoms out or anything. If you guys think it does, let me know. But anyways, uh, Scout and I were using the C clamp on the other side and getting frustrated. I was like, man, this thing is not wanting to go in, and and I was like, before I expended all my energy, and then. I decided I better look on YouTube to save the day. So anyways, you can see it's already back in. I don't think it goes any further. It just keeps spinning. All right.